Ja. There's always a lot of questions as to whether, you know, how feasible that is and how easy it is. But it's pretty easy. Yeah. All right, so why don't you introduce yourself and we'll uh, try to figure out where we're at here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Geert van der Wild. I'm the film and the fietser from uh, Utrecht. We're now at the uh, uh, Morelse Brug, at the Central Station. And, uh, oh, it's the last day of October. It's nice weather. And we're going to have some uh, nice ride here. Now, you were telling me earlier that this is unusual that we have such good weather. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at this time of year. It's, yeah. Usually not this uh, this warm and this nice, but yeah, I think it's especially for us today. Yeah. So. Well, I am incredibly grateful uh, for you uh, showing me around this morning. This is yeah, going to be very fun. Nice to meet uh, today. Yeah. So. We have to... And then uh, this is where we do the uh, BMX thing, right? We ride <laughs> oh, right okay. off. Right? Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> So before we get going too far, why don't you let folks know uh, where they can find you? Oh, they can find me on Twitter, on uh, uh, Film the Feature, and on YouTube, uh, also Film the Feature, and on Insta, uh, the Film and the Feature. So, Fantastic, yeah. Uh, that's why I'm posting my, my videos and photos of mostly cycling uh, in Utrecht, but sometimes, uh, other cities yeah. uh, try to go out sometimes, but yeah, I'm, I'm busy with my kids, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's only, right. Only sometimes. Uh, that's right, yeah, and uh, unlike me, who, who does this stuff full time, you, you, you have a real job. Yeah, I have a real job. <laughs> it's just a hobby for me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then you also have a family, as you mentioned, yeah, with yeah. your children too, so. So tell us a little bit about that inspiration. You were mentioning earlier that it was just kind of, you fell into it a little bit. Yeah, I fell into it. I, I bought a camera for, for other purposes. And then I thought, well, I can, I can put it on my bike and just cycle through the city, which I'm doing a lot, since I'm also working here in the city. And I've seen on Twitter, there's some bike thing going on. So I thought, well, let's give it a try. And uh, yeah, now we're here and a lot of followers and, uh, uh, a lot of uh, newspaper articles I've been in and uh, yeah. on TV, even on national TV uh, for some items, that was fun. Mm -hmm. But so, it's, still, it's still a hobby. Yeah, yeah. And as a Dutchman, I mean, is it fascinating to you that we're fascinated by all this? <laughs> well, yeah, it's fun to see. Uh, we take it for granted. And, right. Uh, most of the times we don't see how special it is what we have here. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the bike infrastructure and all the facilities like the bike parkings and stuff and uh, the OV feature where you can hire a bike if you, you come by train. And uh, we need uh, the, the people outside telling how fantastic it is to, to see it ourselves sometimes. Yeah. To realize, yeah, it, oh, it's, it's, it's great what we have here. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for doing this and for showing me around yeah. today. Oh yeah, so there's the classic entrance there. And here we are at the busiest intersection, probably of all the country. Okay. With the Fredeburg uh, intersection here. It's, yeah, it's quiet now, but I think you know the images. Yes. When it's not so quiet. Yes. 
I do remember this intersection. And of course it's great that since a couple of years uh, the canals are all round again. Yes. We'll, um, Only a couple of years ago there were cars driving here. Right, yep. Yeah, so there's the canal he was just mentioning that used to be a multi-lane highway. Well, actually, it used to be a canal, then they turned it yeah. into a highway, then they turned it back into a canal. It's the shortest highway in the country, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they uh, put the water back in. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's converted into uh, a library uh, a couple of years ago. Nice. And on the second floor there, the ch child books. And I love to go okay. upstairs and my yeah, child's yeah. are, you know, searching some new books and I'm videoing what's happening down here. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's nice to see. Yeah. So that intersection that we went through back mm -hmm. over there, you were saying that it's most likely one of the yeah. most busy intersections potentially in the Netherlands. Yeah, that's wow, correct. that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, and each morning and, and afternoon there's just one big bicycle uh, yeah. traffic jam there. Yeah. yeah. And, and I noticed that uh, it's not just people on bikes. No. I mean, we're talking this is busy because there's multiple different transportation modes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. It's not yeah. just bikes. It's not just bikes. No, we're not we're not talking we're not talking about you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's one of the reasons it's so busy. It's uh, this is one of the main routes to the um, university uh, uh, of the uh, district. So right, all the students coming by by train, cycling this way. Yeah, to go to school and uh, college. Yeah. So. yeah, fantastic. And it's just very, very calming yeah. when you see just the, the cyclists coming by. I will say that, you know, when the bigger equipment comes by, when the buses comes by, you know, and when it feels a little narrow, mm -hmm. it feels a little constrained. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. Well, so we go there uh, yeah. in, in 200 meters. There's a, a, a bit that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't like. Okay. You will see why. It's, okay. It's, you feel very constrained there. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it's narrow. Oh. Yeah. It's, perhaps one time they're going to, to build a me metro uh, so all uh, the buses can go uh, underground. Underground, the, the, yeah. The, the yeah. So. so now there's a street here that recently had a cycle track on mm -hmm. either side yeah. and motor vehicle traffic and then they converted it to a feet strut. Yeah. Do you know which street that is? Yeah, we're going We're going there. It. All right. Yeah, Cuz that's it. I mean that I mean when you think of it that's a really important lesson there because many people in North America especially or around the globe and especially in North America think that oh once there's a protected bikeway or you know cycle track in there then we're done. But in reality, that particular street had a, a unique situation of there were so many people cycling yes. that we yeah. needed to convert the entire space. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I look forward to seeing that yeah, well, in person. Let's do it.
So I'm assuming that's the historic city core yeah, off to our right. Yeah. yeah. That's, right. that's up here for a while. You have a decent size of here. Yeah. And then here it gets narrow. Right. There's only uh, uh, not too much space for pedestrians also. And there's mm -hmm. cars and buses in both directions. And right. The curb is a little dangerous. So the problem is this is uh, the only road going uh, out of the city uh, eastbound. So yeah, this is where yeah. all the traffic has to go. Yeah. No, I don't like this part, particular part. Yeah. Especially when it's busy, and crowded. It's it's. There's sometimes sending uh, containers from the shops, and uh, there's just not enough space here. And is this the area you were saying that might have a, a yeah. future renovation yes. to it? Okay. But I think that's no, not in the near future. Not in the near future. Not in the near future. What are the plans? Or how are they going to fix it? Well, they're doing research now. Oh, okay. That also involves a lot of money. As we say, so, TBD, to be determined. To be determined, <laughs> yes, that's, that's correct. Yeah. You're right. Okay, so this, so this is it. This is the done. yeah. This is the famous one. Yeah, and we can see that you know deliveries still have to arrive. Yeah. There's still a little bit of car parking available. Yeah, but they took some away. Here yep. you see some uh, you know, the bike parking, the terraces uh, from the from the restaurant. So. And you can see the a lot. yeah you can see the the traffic calming aspects. Mm -hmm. It's a shorter crossing, different greenery. yeah greenery. Uh, and it looks like we have some decorations up here yeah. for the holiday season. Yeah. And then there's a crossing and then there's another uh, Fietstraat that they did more recently. Right. Yeah. A little speed hump for uh -huh. cyclists. Let them know they're coming up to the intersection. So as I understand it, the number of cyclists outnumber the number of motor vehicles about eight to one here, which is really what you know prompted yeah. that decision, that this yeah. is something that could that be makes done. It work. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, it, otherwise it's just too narrow, right? Yeah, that's correct. Just yeah. like what we were on. Maybe we can make that big street a, a feet straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's green light for the pedestrians, then the cyclists, and then, and then the, the motor vehicles. So that was a very interesting intersection there. The feet strut treatment sort of went away. Yeah. That motor vehicle sort of pushed his way mm -hmm. through there, knowing that once he got to this section, he'd have to stay behind. Yeah. A little weird, huh? But the intersection is uh, also uh, to be uh, renovated. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know when exactly, but they're gonna do it uh, next year, I think, the whole yeah. street there. So the situation changes then. Right, yeah. And that's part of the thing is that we were talking earlier is that, you know, nothing's ever done. Nothing's, no, nothing's ever perfect. Ever You're always working on stuff. Yes. Yeah. This was actually a fixed and it didn't work. Then it became a regular street mm -hmm. and now it's a fixed again. So, right. Well, the cycling numbers, I mean, things change. Yeah. The variables change. Yeah. I so, go to the right here. yeah. This street is also done a uh, short time ago. You see here some, some speed limitations and oh, there's a bus coming now, so we have to wait. Mm -hmm. There so were some complaints mm -hmm. that uh, if you're cycling here in the dark, you can see this. Ah. They put some 
extra help with extra that. help yeah and there you can see on the road mm -hmm. the white uh, uh, point yeah there are also some kind of traffic uh, calming measures right these I little i don't know if it helps but well it's a visual it's a visual, thing. visual thing you can see the little white dots here I think cars have still enough space to just drive very fast, but this, this helps. It helps, yeah. Yeah. And it was interesting too, when we went through there, it was clear to us that the bus had the right of way mm -hmm. because we had the traffic yeah. calming on our on side. On our side. Yeah. 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 Oh, here are some more dots on the road. You can see some of the quieter side streets. And a heavy residential area here. Yes. Lots of people living. Would these be considered apartments or townhouses or houses? Uh, well, yeah, Probably just... rental or for sale? Uh, this is for sale. For Honestly, sale, okay. Yeah. yeah, so like condominium type stuff. Ah, yeah. oh, look at this delightful little street in the front too. Yeah. And here you can see that sign. It says for Deer's Examen. Uh-huh. And that's for uh, a school kids. Ah, okay. When they're in the uh, primary school, the seventh or eighth grade. They're right. An exam. Right, right. That's uh, like a 11, 12 years old? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So my oldest son did it last year. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a route they can, can cycle. They have a um, vest on with a number. <laughs> yeah. And then on, on the intersections, uh, uh, people uh, are counting, seeing if they're, yeah. they're crossing and yeah. if they're doing it right. Yeah. And then they have to follow the signs yeah. and uh, make a short route and then yeah. they get a diploma. Of the, uh, yeah. Uh, so that practice in uh, cycling alone in traffic. That's right, right. Very good thing. I like to joke and, and say that that's the only time I ever see the Dutch children in high visibility yeah, clothing. Well, that's, that's correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's no funny. No one's wearing high vis here. So right, nobody, it's, nobody. It's a big thing in America, but yeah, uh, it's like that. You know, shifting the responsibility and the blame over yeah. to the person on the bike yeah. or the person walking. Yeah. Very, very silly. Okay, yeah. so what does this sign here mean uh, up in front with the 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 big red uh, dot and then the line through it and then uh -huh. underneath? What does that well, it actually means that mean? Cars uh, are not allowed to go in there from okay. this side. Okay. Okay. And it says uh, 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 there's an exception for cyclists and mopeds. Okay. So they can go both ways. Right. And cars can only come from the other side. Got it. Okay. So the cars, the cars cannot go in. You it's see, obviously, they're all, all facing us. Right. So it's one way from one the way other direction. Cars. Yeah. And then uh, it, it's allowed for mopeds and and, and, and to cyclists go, to, yeah. to go through their go bike riders ways. to go through yeah. both ways. Fantastic, thank yeah. you. I figured that's what it was, but oh, yeah. I, I better get an actual <laughs> translation yeah. here. Nice bollard here. <laughs> yeah, look at that. This is up here at the Railway Museum. Okay. And when we were on the second Fietstad, uh, I think you noticed we crossed uh, the railway tracks. Uh-huh, yep. And, well, they're going to the, to the museum here. Ah. And if we stop here, you can... It's over there. Yeah. And the tracks were going that direction to the left. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, some 10, 15 years ago, uh, they stopped using it. Right. Uh, and then a couple of years ago, they removed the tracks and made it into a park and a bike uh, path. So right. You can see there. It's, it, I, love, I love to cycle there. It's very nice. Yeah. It's a nice direction between. Uh, here the, the canal and that side of town. Right. So let's have a look. Yeah, let's go over there.
Ah, oh, yes, the end uh, of the tracks. This is where the tracks stop. Yeah. Oh, they're making a new mural there. Oh, yeah. So in North America, we would call this a rail to trail. Yeah. The like older. The, uh, <laughs> uh, more, uh, what's it called? To, to, uh, from Brendan, the more. Yeah. The, more the Monon Trail. Monon Trail. Monon Trail, yeah. trail right there in uh, Carmel, Indiana. Yeah. Yes, that was a rail to trail conversion project. And, uh, yeah, and nice, they did a very nice job here. Yeah. The walking path over yeah. here, we see some nice uh, greenery while still maintaining the cycle path. Very nice. And we see more housing yeah, this in this student area. Housing. Ah, student housing, yeah. okay. And that is the University of Utrecht? Yes. Yes. Yeah, very, very relaxing through here. Yeah. I can see why you like this. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's always nice in different weather conditions and yeah. evening. And then here the cycle path stops and it goes as a, a park for pedestrians. Ah, yes, I see that. And go to the right. Okay. daily right uh, yeah take kids to school go home go back home yep we can go straight ahead now so we can <laughs> see the uh, part of the canal with the uh, uh, hotel uh, uh, Karel uh, 5 yeah yeah filmed earlier yeah yeah, I always say Carl V, but it's yeah. really V for five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and again, transitioning back over into a shared space. We've got the standard brick treatment. Not as smooth for us on bikes, but that's kind of the point too, is we need that vibration to hopefully get the drivers to slow down. And this, of course, is a pleasant environment with these big trees right yeah. here. Very nice. Uh, full fullers now. Yeah. Yes, you and I were communicating about the fall colors. I very yeah. much wanted to see good yeah, fall well, colors. They're still here. <laughs> they're still here. <laughs> You think that you would, it wouldn't ma make that big a difference, but uh, we don't get good color in, in Texas very often. So, many other areas in North America is 
extraordinary color, mm -hmm. but not so much in Texas. At least not in Central Texas. Yeah, I've been in Montreal in uh, a lot of years back in this season. And yeah. These colors remind me of, of back then. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like we still have lots more colors to come. Yeah. Yeah. closing in and uh, on where the highway uh, ended okay when it was still a, a highway the bridge a little further uh, where it stopped To the other side uh, of, the, of the water, and then we are at the side of the hotel. Right. And there is the office of the Dutch Cycling Embassy. Yes. There it is. Along with the Fietzerbahn. Yeah. There's also yep. a sign that cyclists are allowed to. Ah, here. okay, very good. And here's the hotel. And here's my hotel that I stayed at a couple times. The Carl Five. Highly recommended. It was a very nice, comfortable stay. They took good care of us. And so this is the part of yeah, the canal. Yeah, we'll take a look at the look. canal. And this is the part that uh, was still under renovation in 2018 and 2019. And really, so wonderful to see this get turned back into a beautiful natural waterway. Yeah. And uh, no more nasty highway here. No more highway. No uh, more highway. Still cars, but yeah, cars limited are... space. Limited, limited speed. Yeah. Enough space for cyclists there now with the uh, uh, renovation done. And it's a really nice place. I can, uh, from where I live, I can uh, throw a boat in and, and come here. Right. And, and go the whole round now. Yeah. Which wasn't uh, possible a, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, how special is that as somebody who grew up here in Utrecht? Talk a little bit about how that well, makes I, you feel I, that this yeah, got it's, transformed. It's very special. Yeah. I was born 40 years ago. Then it, uh, the canal was already uh, being uh, turned into a highway. So yeah. I didn't know uh, other than that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 of course, I knew it was a canal long ago, mm -hmm. but I've never seen it. And yeah. so it was very nice that when they started uh, a couple of uh, d down that way they, they began and then this was the last section it was right. very nice to see it, it all yeah. opened up again yeah and I was I was here very often to to just look and yeah take watch, the and watch the process yeah and yeah but it's still not completely done the road there on that section uh, they're working on it now so it's still getting better every day that's right. very nice right. And, and folks, for, for bearings, this is still within walking distance to the train station. Yeah, this is so like this is very five close. minutes from the train station. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's the nice thing about Utrecht. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all within walking or cycling distance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I live in the, in the south mm -hmm. of, the, of the city, and if I go to the north or northwest part, it's maybe half an hour cycling right right so, that's, so I, I never use a car in the city right yeah it's, yeah it's not necessary do you own a car we own a car yes, yes. but okay we use it very rarely very sparingly yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, when we go out right uh, not for uh, shopping in the city or things like that right right 
So you're not anti-car? Not completely, but <laughs> I'm anti-car uh, in the city. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's context sensitive, as yeah, we like to it's say. Very, I understand some people yeah. need it on a daily basis. I'm okay yes. with that, but yeah. uh, it's, it's behavior. That's important. I think what's nice is that you have the choice. Yes, yeah. Yeah, choice is a very, very important That's word there. That's very important. Yeah. And, oh, there are a lot of uh, shared cars, uh, shared card programs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's growing uh, well every day. Yeah, and uh, that's that's okay to give people the choice. Yeah, to use it or not. Yeah, and to own to own a, a car or not. Good stuff. I love it. Yeah. Yes. We're working on it right now. Ah, yes. Still not completely done. Outside the parking. Yeah. Yes, this is where we started yes, our see. filming. And again, this is for all intents and purposes overflow parking or parking for the lazy people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like uh, eventually, this will be forbidden. Signets here. Ah, left yes. And again, this is approximately 12,000 spaces? 12 and a half thousand, yes. 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 Truly fantastic. Very, very comfortable cities. If you want to encourage people to use transit and ride bikes to transit, treat them with respect and dignity. Create safe, convenient parking and additional services because you can get other services in there too yeah Correct? you can yeah. get your bike fix you can yeah. rent a bike yeah. uh, well i don't use it as often so i don't know what's inside yeah yeah there are other services yes. yeah we go to the left. imagine that treating people who ride bikes with dignity <laughs> yeah And then it's not the only bike parking at the central station because you know driving to or riding to the other side and there are like four or five parkings on this side also so right there are way over 12,000 parking spots here show you a street that's well pretty dangerous okay because of behavior of uh, car drivers and they're just started in uh, uh, making it safer okay
Yes. A livable and attractive canal shop, it says. Ah, okay. So they're working on a livable and attractive street. Because now, as you can see, far from. Right. And I see behind us is a, a, a cycle path mm -hmm. that dead ends there and there's a bollard there keeping cars out yeah. and then this is the area that they're working on. They're working on here, yeah. You can see all the signs, the yellow signs, oh, yeah. the diversions and working on the greenery mm -hmm. and uh, stuff. And you can see the cars blocking the so for the future treatment what will this look like uh, this will be a one-way street so cars only able to uh, ride I guess um, towards the city, okay. towards the city center. Uh, more greenery, uh, less parking space, I guess. Uh, more room for uh, pedestrians, for cyclists. Uh, lower speed, so uh, safer. Yeah. yeah. So since safer it'll be since it'll be one way, will it uh, be transformed into a feet strut? Um, I'm not sure it will be. I didn't quite make it onto the path. No, well, yeah, not the best. Uh, <laughs> there. Yeah, and there's there's a lip there, so there's no way for you to get yeah. there yeah. at the last minute. You go to the left there. Okay. And another sign of the Verkeersexamen: every mm -hmm. neighborhood has has its own route, so you don't have to go to the other side of town if you're living there, uh, not here. Then you have a own a, a route in your own neighborhood. Fantastic! So yeah. Learn to you know, safely drive in their own neighborhood. Right. Summertime, this place is a bike magnet. But when there are people picnicking, swimming here, and mm -hmm. then this, you know, there's not a single park bike here now, but then it's a bike sea yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I recognize this spot. This is where we uh, posed for a group photo for okay. all of nice. the dignitaries from Austin, Texas, uh -huh. on our study tour in 2019. This is our location, right there. That was our backdrop. And I have some wonderful footage of everybody getting over this little bridge. Yeah, it's a nice bridge. It's nice yeah. lift in the evening. Yeah, very nice. So when we're back on a uh, very, very comfortable feet spot, yes. Once you get off of, you know, those streets and you get into some of these, uh, you know, nice wide pathways, so comfortable. Yeah, it is. Stress level goes right down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's from me, from a North American perspective. Same for you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I, I, uh, I want to go to the busy parts, mm -hmm. but this is also, uh, yeah. 
It's yeah. lovely. Just to go outside the center and uh, on the quiet streets. And as you can see here, folks, we've got a nice smooth red asphalt uh, surface. So in this area, we aren't uh, on the bricks and the cobbles that are red colored, but uh, it makes it a lot smoother for us. Of course, it does make it smoother for the cars too. So hopefully the drivers are behaving themselves and driving slowly. You can see that it is quite narrow and uh, but there is parking and it's mostly a residential area so nobody has any business uh, driving fast through here and you can see we've got some corner stores here so even though it is a residential area you know we do have plenty of other little businesses and up ahead we're going to see our famous bridge and our yeah, famous little it school it's right up here I see it from here. And again, this is an example of some Dutch innovation <laughs> and just being creative. Uh, they knew they needed to get a bridge across here and they were just thinking, thinking of how are we going to make this happen? And it turned out that, hey, let's do this. Let's integrate this and be part of the school. So fill in the gaps if you know any more. Yeah, well, that's the most important thing. It's, yeah. it's, it's a really cool feature here. Yeah. Uh, must be cool for the kids to know there are people cycling when they're teaching their stuff and they're cycling over their heads. <laughs> that's really cool. And you can hear the voices of the yeah. kids and you can see, outside. and you can see obviously hundreds of bikes because that's how they got to school and that's the other part of this too is it could be a key connector for kids being able to get to school yeah. or parents being able to pick them up after school and ride with them because that's for the see, young ones yeah, yeah. You can see there's a whole new neighborhood built here in the last well 25 years they're still building to the left and to the right and well this bridge enables kids from that side to cross the water, to cross the canal and go to school there. Right. And it's super easy. Yep. There's a bridge there, there's a bridge there, but it costs more time. Right. It's a great connection for the people who live here in the new area. Right. To go to the city, the old city center. Right. Yeah, I'm seeing and lots of uh, parkland, residential. Yeah. We've got our little uh, pathway that we're on here. Now, would this pathway be considered a sort of a multi-use path, both uh, bikes and pedestrians? Yeah, this is for bikes and pedestrians, okay. as you can see on the sign there. And the fun thing is, you don't recognize when you're cycling here or walking here, but we are now cycling above an uh, eight-lane highway. No, no, no. Really? Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Wow. It's so the A2 highway between uh, Maastricht in the south and Amsterdam. And that's running here. Ah. And the tunnel is built uh, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. 10 years ago or something. Mm -hmm. It's a mile long. Uh, so 1.6 kilometers. Right. And they just built a park and they have houses and right. cars are underneath us now. Right. How many years did it take for that construction? Uh, I can't remember, but quite some years and they had some difficulties with uh, uh, safety uh, regulations, safety issues. We're, we're not the Swiss, they have tunnels everywhere. And they, yeah. well, <laughs> through the Alps. Through the Alps. Yeah, this, was, this was pretty new yeah. here, so yeah. it's, it's very nice. Yeah. And you can remember, I'm sure, very recently when this was just a noisy, polluting yeah. highway. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, Austin. Yeah, not long ago. Here you go. Right. This is what uh, Highway 35 could be. Bury that highway. 
And I think this building is sort of a control center for the uh, tunnel underneath, mm -hmm. I believe. I yeah, pr sure probably much. part. They have yeah. to have pretty good uh, ventilation. Building a new school here. Okay. Oh, okay, so a new secondary school here. Yeah. Excellent. Next to the cinema, so I guess when the teachers are free, well, obviously where they will go. <laughs> Very area. Yeah. And this is called the Berlin Square. B uh, Berlin? Berlin Square. Ber Berlin. 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 Oh, Berlin, Berlin, Berlin Square. Square. Yeah. And we can take a look there because the, the roof you see mm -hmm. is uh, the roof from the old central station in Mitte. Oh, yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Berlin Spine. Very nice. And if you go to the left, you can go to the... There's a whole new city center built there with shops and everything we have in the old town. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a bus line, but you can go left here. Okay. There's a bus station. Okay, yep, so that's the bus station. The train station behind. Uh, terminal, train station. Which station is that, the train station? This is Leitzerijn. So oh. uh, Leitzerijn is a new residential air area built here. Okay. And that uh, is in the direction of uh, The Hague, Rotterdam. Okay, okay. Okay, so you're saying this is the new city center area, a uh, new residential mm -hmm. area for this yeah. neighborhood. Right. Yeah. And uh, so we'll see what a new Dutch city center and development looks like. Yeah. You've seen it has its own uh, train station, bus station. Right. There's a cinema, there are schools. Not just everything you need. Yeah. Nice square here. So the bricks in this square look much, much older than what we were just walking yeah. over. Was this here previously? No, this is all wow. newly built. So. Yeah. yeah, they did a good they, job they, making they it look... Choose, yeah. Make it look uh, some, some older. Look older, yeah. yeah. It immediately yeah. felt older and you mm -hmm. can obviously see some of the older cobbles here. And uh, yeah, very interesting. Here and it's move. wonderful it's wonderful to see this type of urbanism this type of development take mm -hmm. place uh, the shopping centers are more built like on a traditional city uh, town square kind of feel to it versus the old you know mall that yeah. used to be is it still attached to the the train station the yeah, central station yeah, yeah 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 it's all all redeveloped recently yeah it's yeah. the time you should take a walk there yeah it's, yeah it's all new and uh, nah, i don't know i like, still don't like uh, it it's underground i want to see the sky yeah. and feel the rain yeah, yeah and the it wind it looks much nicer now but it's yeah just a bit more fleshy and shiny yeah and, yeah yeah uh, yeah it's, they were trying to build a North American style indoor mall rather than doing something like this and uh, I think this is much better yeah yeah very yeah nice. yeah personal taste I guess but yeah All right
one yeah. of the advantages of bike path. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When we get to the other side, uh, I'll talk with you about this bridge here. Yeah. So yeah, you can see the Dr. Skipper's work. Yep, there it is. So that's exactly what I was going to talk with you about is that, uh, yeah. So that bridge over there is just for bikes and pedestrians only. Yeah. Yeah. There is this bridge here, but there's cars here. And so not quite as comfortable, it's a little noisier. It's not too bad right now because no. yeah, there's not very many cars the right now. Thing about this side is this coffee factory. So oh, when, very good. You smell it now. I, <laughs> yeah. When they're burning the beans, you can smell it. And when yeah. the wind is good, you can smell it on the other side of town. Yeah. Okay, uh, audience, can you smell it? <laughs> ah, it smells good. Roasted coffee. Actually, coffee sounds really good right about yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, all things considered, that was very comfortable. Yeah, it's a fairly new bridge. Yeah. Uh, it's well, over 10 years now, but it was an old bridge with just a very narrow bike path on both sides. And there was one bridge for the trains, and then now there are three bridges, two for trains, and one big, the yellow bridge for the bi-directional uh, bike paths. There are bus lines and uh, car lanes. So. Okay. Much better. Yeah, much better. Much more traffic now also with the new uh, uh, neighborhood uh, on the other side. Right. And yet still very connected by bike. Oh, perhaps you can have lunch um, at the place where, uh, you, where you were telling the group photo was made. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Whatever you think is... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a nice place. Yeah, whatever you think is good. You've got the kids to pick up. <laughs> yeah, they still two hours to, to Very good. and do stuff. And I'm assuming it's the eight-year-olds that you're picking up, the, the twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, perhaps they go, go to the left. Perhaps they go yeah. play with some friends and I go home alone, but yeah. you never know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we gave the 11-year-old a, a cell phone uh, before the summer. Yeah. And he's old enough to, uh, no, cycle home himself. He right. knows the city. He just loves to, yeah, not go straight home, but I uh, got a little bit to the city. I just like to cycle along the canals before I went home. That, yeah. That's the sort of stuff. So yeah. That's easy. And I'm assuming that's kind of how you grew up too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's very, it's a very foreign concept to, uh, North Americans and many other cities globally now because kids are shuttled around by cars everywhere. Yeah. So being able to develop that independence and uh, have that opportunity to have a few years to practice being an yeah. adult. <laughs> so. Well, and things are, are different now for my kids than it was for me because when I learned to ride bike, when I was four or five, there wasn't so much cars at the streets. Right, right. And, and I could play with my brothers outside on the streets and, oh, you know, the the memes uh, you're seeing right now from uh, why our kids don't play outside anymore and then the outside, well, it's full of cars and that's the difference now. So yeah, yeah. We don't let our children cycle everywhere alone. Right. But most places they know and yeah. the infrastructure is good and safe. And we trust them to do the right thing on bikes. So right, yeah. A 
kangaroo bikes in the city nowadays. Yes, yeah. Quite a fascinating innovation. Yeah. With all kinds of stuff in it. Kids, adults, yeah. 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 Powerful, yeah. Powerful. Whatever you can yeah, pile, in you pile in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cozy little place right there on the water. And this building is where they made money. Oh, uh, cool. The coin. I could use some. Yeah, well, it's not there anymore. Ah. The new building is in Houghton, so if you go there. Well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. And just you just go and ask, right? Yeah. yeah. You have a big back way too, so yeah. My kids always say you have to hold your breath here because yeah. you're cycling beneath the water level. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, we are cycling beneath the water as we can now see. So, and for Ryan, my friend Ryan Van Duzer, we have to say. Ole, 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 ole. That's for you, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, no, you can no, see. We're we're, again with the water. Now we're getting the level with the water. Uh, I guess I didn't really hold my breath. I was, <laughs> I was getting the ole's yeah. in. <laughs> Okay, so you were just telling me that this is the big development that we've yeah. been hearing about that's going to be pretty much car free. Yes, that's correct. It's here and then we're going uh, underneath that bridge and there's another strip that's going to be built with, I guess, 6,000 homes. Right, yeah. All yeah, car free, car light. Uh, there's going to be one or two new bridges uh, over the canal. Okay. To, to make the connection to that part of the city. Right. And they're building that right now. And how many minutes bike ride are we from the, the central station? Uh, less than 10. Less than 10. Less than 10. So very close. Very close, yeah, yeah. you can walk. Very easily. convenient, yeah. Yeah. And they can build a restaurant here. Yeah. It's open. Yeah. Very nice. Glad you mentioned that. I was that was one of the things that I forgot to write down on my list to see here in, in Utrecht was that new development. See, these are all buildings, and uh, this is all going to be developed in the next years to a completely new uh, neighborhood. Okay. High density, low on cars. High density, low on cars. Here's a good example of a car making his way through, and this is an ultra narrow edge lane road pathway. Again, probably could have just had this all be the red color, but for whatever reason, they decided to have this treatment. Given the number of bikes on it, I would suspect they'll probably want to tra change this over to just a few trucks. I think when the new neighborhood is finished, they will. Yeah, yeah. As you can see here, they already demolished what was here before. Right. fantastic about all of our footage that we've shot here today is that uh, we never know how the audio is going to be. <laughs> so audio could be windblown, every single bit of it, we never know. But uh, oh, the, images with, the images are great.
this is really a, an extraordinarily comfortable environment riding on this. I don't think I've ridden on this path before. This is very, very nice. New Okine in the south. Yeah. 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 This is quite nice. Quite comfortable. So for the twins, are they riding their bikes uh, to school now? Uh, yeah, today only one of them, I believe. Okay. My girlfriend brought them uh, this morning. Okay. okay. But they mostly do, yeah. Yeah, mostly, yeah. Last Friday, they, they had a holiday, so we were in Rotterdam uh, all day. Okay. A nice family outing. And after dinner, I said, well, guys, who wants to go for a evening bike ride? Uh-huh. Three hands in the air, they, they just <laughs> love it. Go ahead. Maybe you've seen the, the short video from the Dachman Schippers with one of my children cycling uh, off it. Uh, oh, that's right. You did do that. Okay, yeah. so say that again. So you said, who wants to go for a night bike? And then three arms went just up. <laughs> go. We had a busy day, but they just want yeah. to go right in the dark. That's exciting. Nice. Yeah. So in other words, what you're saying is that even for Dutch people, riding a bike is fun. It's fun, yeah. <laughs> sure is, yeah. It's human nature. Riding a bike is fun. It's healthy, it's fun. It's comfortable, it's easy. Yeah. It's cheap. It checks all the boxes. Yeah. Cycling some 5,000 k a year. Ah, okay. And last year, when I brought my bike to the shop for repairs, he called me and said, "Well, I'm done already." And I asked, "Okay, what? What do I have to pay?" It was only 50 euros. Okay. It was just yeah, just normal wear and tear. Yeah, yeah just well, riding. Yeah. If you bring your car, yeah. As soon as you enter the garage, you're only uh, you're you're already a uh, hundred euro uh, poor. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. So to say. So. Yeah. But we store our bikes inside, so no rain. Oh, that helps a lot. During the night. And yeah. No other bikes thrown against it. Right. And that helps a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this little loop here. Yeah. We're in my neighborhood. <laughs> cycling along my house. Uh, uh, yeah, earlier. Are we going to cross here? Yeah. Going to the left. Left. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Too, uh, too close to ride a bike to. <laughs> well, uh, we, have, well, we have a lot for the whole week. We, we take our bike. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, I walk. It's yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And on the other side, in two or three hundred meters, there's another shopping mall. So right, right, right. We can choose. <laughs> yeah, it's not the distance that's the no. matter. It's uh, it's how many groceries we're picking yeah. up on any given day. <laughs> yeah, I can relate, especially for family. A family with many hungry mouths. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite happy with all the traffic, but yeah. yeah. It's, it's a nice street. It's close to the city center, it's close to the shopping malls. Uh, there's enough greenery. On the other side, it's uh, a lot quiet and more quiet, so. And uh, how many years have you lived here? Uh, 15 years now. 15 years, yeah. Up there. Right over there somewhere. Yeah. We, won't, we won't show exactly where, but over there somewhere. Over there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where we cycle each morning. Yeah. Bring the kids to school. Yep. 
So for the 11 year old, uh, going to a different school? Yeah, uh, next year. Next so year, this okay. This year we're watching uh, all schools and okay. going to, uh, they stay organized for, for parents to, to come see the school. So that's a, that's a busy time for us. It's yeah. All, yeah it was like 20, more than 20 years ago for me. So it's all new now for right. me also. So. Yeah, yeah. But he's excited. Good, good. So in terms of like the number of minutes that it will take him to ride to the new school, how far? Oh, we don't know yet which school it will be. Ah, it be okay. From like 50 minutes to maybe 30, 35 minutes. Okay, so it could and be even more, but we're trying yeah. to uh, close it down a little. Yeah, yeah. Negotiation a little. Yeah. <laughs> we have to see which school fits him best. Right, yeah. So by 11, does he pretty much know how to use uh, transit too? Uh, oh, we're going next year. Okay. Um, no, we don't. Not yet, yeah. yeah. We hardly use any transit. Yeah, I was going to say, you can pretty much get everywhere by yeah. bike. Yeah. Yeah, we cycle along the old water tower and then there's a, there's oh, yeah. a place you can uh, have lunch. Perfect. And here's the old water tower. There's a restaurant on top now. Oh, fabulous. It says there's a restaurant on top. All this writing, I'm ready. Hey, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video tour of Utrecht with De Filmende De Fietzer, Herod Vandervilt himself. <laughs> thank you so much, Herod, for uh, taking me around. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.